Hey guys, Ray again. You see this big crane behind me? We are getting a big machine delivered today. Now, for those of you new to my channel, I run a machine shop. I'll put a link to a playlist with all the machining videos in it. But those of you who are familiar with my channel will know that we've got some big machines. Well, this is gonna be the biggest machine. I'm gonna do my best to film it all, but it is quite big. You can see I can't even capture the crane and I'm about 200 feet away from where the machine is going to be delivered. Weighs 90,000 pounds. We're gonna have a time getting it in. So I hope you enjoy the video. The machine is in and it is a big one uh, there are bigger machines than this but this is going to be our largest machine you can see what it looks like as you can see uh, we've got just enough clearance up top this whole machine is over 40 foot long it's a mighty Viper I believe it's a 30 horsepower, two gear, high and low gear. The table is 62 inches wide by 162 inches long. In contrast, the table on the VF9 is 40 inches wide by 84 inches long. So this table is almost four times the size of the VF9. As you can see the machine extends past this way as well. And this is nice, it's got twin augers, an auger on each side for the chips, very nice. It's missing the way covers. I don't know why it's missing the way covers. I gotta contact the dealer and see if we get those way covers in here. It's got a two inch aluminum jig plate that we'll, we're gonna have to take off to use the T-slot table. Here is here is the backside view. Now take a look at this. We've got about 10 foot of space here. It might seem like a lot, but what we're still missing is the tool changer. It goes back here. That tool changer alone weighs 10,000 pounds. So we need a space for the tool changer. And you can see this is gonna be the door that the tools are getting changed. There's a spindle. So we still gotta get the hydraulic unit in, the spindle chiller, the tool changer and of course we got to put it all back together get the weight covers on the hydraulic uh, draw bar and make all the connections the controller have to go has to go on so a lot to do still including we've got to level the machine so you can see all those bolts in there we've got to put in the pads and level it up It's not a new machine, but it's a new to us machine. And um, it's, it's the biggest one we've got in the shop. Looking forward to seeing this thing running. Well, there it is. The machine is put in here. It took quite a bit. It, this part of the machine weighs 70,000 pounds. And as you saw, that crane handled it like it was no big deal. This is a big for us machine. There are much bigger machines out there but for us this is the biggest CNC machine we have in the shop the table is 62 by 162 inches which makes it almost four times bigger than the Haas VF9 that we've got in the shop that you've seen on some of my other videos this was an interesting process getting it inside here 
and you will be seeing this machine possibly running some parts hopefully within about a month or so there's some work we still have to do to get it up and running we are still waiting on the tool changer the hydraulic unit uh, the spindle cooler the controller which sits right here we're still waiting on a on a, uh, a truckload of other parts to get here so it'll be a little while Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe while you're here to stay up to date on all my future videos.